so in this video we learn about the constraints in sql what is constraint let me on the pointer sql constraints are used to specify rules for the data in a table constraints are used to limit the type of data that can go into a table this ensures the accuracy and reliability of the data in the table if there is any violation between the constraint and the data action the action is aborted these are the type of constraints in sql we can see the first one is primary key the second one is foreign key the third one is unique and also there is another one not null let's see what is primary key and how it is used all the values on a primary key column should be unique and not null the primary key can be applied to only one column or on a combination of columns in the latter case the combination of the column values should be unique for all the tables row there are three ways the first one is in the column definition itself i mean we can declare integer not null primary key with the column name the another one type is as a separate definition primary key and inside the braces we need to mention the column name uh the third one is to create a combination of columns as a primary key we need to give the primary key then the column names inside the braces so now let's see the execution process so you will be able to understand it easily so here let me create another table called student1 where i am giving column name as id then its data type in name then its data type then uh let's say primary key is id now after this we'll try to insert some values to the table insert into student1 table values i'm giving is uh, id number as 1 then the name as uh let's say shub let's add another one value id as to then the name as uh let's say sachin let's check the table now select star from student 1 you can see here and uh, to describe the table d e s c is the keyword let's say describe table name student 1 this is the syntax uh, we, which we follow to describe the table as you already know the primary key uh, features and all will when we give describe keyword we'll get to know all the things i mean field type null key default etc in the table i mean all the description will be given so i guess you have understood so, 
and let's see the foreign key constraint the foreign key constraint is used to prevent actions that would destroy links between tables a foreign key is a field in one table that refers to a primary key in another table the table with the foreign key is called as child table and the table with the primary key is called as referred table or parent table this is the syntax we follow uh, while using primary key constraint create table table name then the column and its data type foreign key inside the braces foreign key column then the reference referenced table Let's see the execution process now. Uh, let me give table name as department one, and the column I'm giving is department ID. Its data type is int. Then the name and its data type is worker. then the primary key as department id so now the table department 1 is created to know much about uh, know about the foreign key let's create another table called student department i'm giving stu underscore dept as the another table name uh and let me give column name as id its data type is in name worker uh then let's say uh department id uh the same which we have used in the department 1 table then the primary key let's uh, do id as primary key then we need to uh like references we need to take before that we'll uh, declare the foreign key as department id then the references from the department 1 table which is a parent table here i have followed the syntax which i have already showed to you so this is about the foreign key so the next one is unique key constraint unique constraint ensures that all values in a column are different both unique and primary key constraints provide a guarantee for uniqueness for a column or set of columns a primary key constraint automatically has a unique constraint can have many unique constraints but only one primary key constraint the syntax is create table table name then the column and its data type followed by unique keyword with the column inside unique column so now it is not null constraint let's see what it is by default a column can hold null values the not null constraint enforces a column to not accept null values the syntax is create table then the table name inside the braces column name and its data type and also we need to mention not null so this is about the constraints in